Welcome to Christmas Worship with Evangelical Lutheran Church. We are grateful to have you with us today as we celebrate the light of Christ come into the world. As we join with the angels in proclaiming the good news, let us remember with joy and hope that this love came for all the world. Let us share the light of Christ this Christmas season and beyond. Today, the 25th day of December, unknown ages from the time when God created the heavens and the earth and then formed man and woman in God's own image. Several thousand years after the flood, when God made the rainbow shine forth as a sign of the covenant. 21 centuries from the time of Abraham and Sarah, 13 centuries after Moses led the people of Israel out of Egypt, 1100 years from the time of Ruth and the judges, 1000 years from the anointing of David as king, in the 65th week, according to the prophecy of Daniel, in the 194th Olympiad, the 752nd year from the foundation of the city of Rome, the 42nd year of the reign of Octavian Augustus, the whole world being at peace, Jesus Christ, eternal God and Son of the eternal Father, desiring to sanctify the world by his most merciful coming, being conceived by the Holy Spirit, and nine months having passed since his conception, was born in Bethlehem of Judea, of the Virgin Mary. Today is the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to the flesh. In the still of the night, when all was dark and silent, the, the light, light of the, the world, world was born in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. To us a child is born, to, to us, us a son is given. given. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful, Wonderful Counselor, Counselor, Mighty God, God Everlasting, Everlasting Father, Prince, Prince of, of Peace. Peace. On this holy night, we begin our worship in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. of Bethlehem how still we see the light above thy deep and dreamless sleep the silent stars go by yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of one. stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to God the King and peace to men on earth how silently how silently the wondrous gift is given so God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters. 
sin. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide in us, our Lord Emmanuel. With voices rising, rising like incense, we prayed in hope. We reached to you in hope. We sang in hope. We shouted with hope. Tonight we see in the shadows and the shine the holy mystery of a hope fulfilled and a hope to come. Tonight, Tonight we, we move, move in hope. hope. We move as a people waking from a slumber like a new parent hearing a cry in the night, for unto us a child is born. We move with confidence and praise because hope has arrived. You have increased our joy. We move with determination that liberation is not just our destiny, but our reality. The rod of their oppressors you have broken. We move because the one born this night invites us to come and follow. We move because the Christ tells us, take up our cross. We move to bear one another's burden like Simon of Cyrene, who held the cross for Jesus. We move in the march toward freedom. We move towards the promised land. We move forward in hope. We move in hope because hope moved into the world. This one shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Strength of God, Eternal Protector, Champion of Peace. We move in hope, O oh God. We, we move, move forward, forward in, in hope. hope. Today's lesson is from Isaiah, the ninth chapter. The people who walked in darkness have seen great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulder, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be t registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee into Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. 
He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. A very Merry Christmas to you, although this COVID Christmas certainly looks a lot different than any other Christmas I've experienced in my lifetime. And I found myself wondering exactly how do I make this message feel peaceful this year? Because that's what the angels wished the shepherds and the world when they came. Peace to you. You know, as I stand here, all the rituals that I normally go through for Christmas, even leading up to it, seem to have just gone by the wayside in many ways. I've got my Christmas tree here. Uh, normally we put our Christmas tree up on Thanksgiving Day, and we have all the family around to help decorate that. And there's usually a number of children who are really excited about putting it up. And so all the ornaments get put up that day. Well, this year, because Thanksgiving was just my wife and myself, uh, we were a little more reticent about putting up the ornaments. And instead of putting up four boxes of ornaments that we normally have, we only put up two uh, because that was a lot of work just in itself. And we didn't have anybody to help. When I did my Christmas shopping for the family and friends this year, I did most of it, the vast majority of it online. That was a whole new experience. It's not that I haven't shopped online, but you know, everything was different. I wasn't fighting crowds. I wasn't walking around seeing all the decorations and saying hello to people because most of the time when I go to the store, I see one of you. Invariably, when I should go to the grocery store or I go to Kohl's or I go to Macy's, I, I will run into somebody that I know. So you get to have some community and some conversation. It's a different matter sitting online, making those purchases, doing services tonight. I look forward every year to the hundreds of people that come to the church and I get to greet them and I get to see people. Sometimes I don't see them much other than at Christmas. And it's wonderful to catch up, say hello, give them a hug. I don't know what this Christmas will look like. It doesn't going to look the way it normally has. So what exactly do we say about this Christmas? As I thought about those changes that I'm having, I also realized they were an opportunity to recapture something. Because I realized that oftentimes I get so caught up in all of that stuff that it's sometimes hard for me to really feel, to really feel what Christmas is about. You see, I get you know caught up in writing the Christmas cards and like, well, I got to get them out because I got to get them to the post office so they'll get delivered before Christmas. And so I get wound up 
writing those Christmas cards. And then I start thinking, okay, now I've got the Christmas cards out. I need to get to the store. I need to buy these things. And I have to, you know, crowds and, and standing in line and, and all of that adds to the tension. And even the services, as much as I adore them, when I get done on the end of Christmas Eve, when I go home around midnight, I am exhausted. And I'm not sure that I really take time to feel the peace that is supposed to come as a part of Christmas. God did not create us for the hustle and bustle. It says that on this night, the whole world being at peace is when Jesus came. Now, there'll be a lot of things we don't do this year. I don't know whether you'll have a lot of family around. We certainly probably are not going to be in the sanctuary doing the things we normally do. I don't know what it will bring. But one thing it may bring is a quiet and a peace that we don't always allow ourselves to experience. So that is my prayer for you this night, that the real reason for the season would take hold in your heart tonight. It's not about the gift giving. It's not about even the services or the candle lighting or the hymns and all the things we say. It is about the miracle that occurred that God himself came down from heaven, became a little baby so that he could be joined to you and me forever. That is where the peace of God comes from. Because God came down and claimed us as his children, not just for that one night, not just for our lifetimes, but forever. And when I look at this tree this year, and I look at these ornaments, and I see the scenes from the manger, and I see the scenes that remind me what Christmas is about, I'm praying that I really hear that message this year. Peace to you. Peace to all human beings whom God loves, because this night proves just how much God loves us. Merry Christmas to you. Peace on earth. Goodwill to human beings whom God loves. Amen. <laughs>
Lord, today we rejoice that you came to live among us, caring, loving, and healing us. Make us your arms, your hands, and your feet. Use us to care for your people. Lord Jesus, Jesus be, be with, with us. Lord, you bring peace with God and pardon. Bring peace to our hearts and love to our homes. Guide the nations. Let there be justice. Let there be hope. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, be with us. Lord, you bless the home of Mary and Joseph. Bless our homes this Christmas and make our families a blessing to others. You were born in a stable, then driven out as a refugee. Shelter the homeless and open our hearts to those in need. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, be, be with, with us. us. Lord, you were born among the poor. You experienced hurt, pain, and disappointment. Strengthen the weak. Care for the sick. Comfort those who are suffering or grieving. Be a friend to the lonely and lift up those who are depressed. Bring a new life into our world. Lord Jesus, Just be, be with, with us. us. Be with us today and always. Be with us as we journey through this life so that we may see your glory on earth and in heaven. With the angels and all your people, we praise your holy name now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you, and also with you. On Christmas, we celebrate God's generous gift of God's only Son, Jesus, who was born to bring us hope and salvation. In response, we too want to be generous. We want to help share the good news, but we don't always know how. One way we help to share the good news of Jesus is as a community of faith. Your giving supports ELC's ministries that spread this good news through worship, education, and outreach efforts. We share the good news of Jesus both here in Frederick and beyond. You can give now by scanning the QR code on the screen, by texting to give, or by dropping a check in the mail. Your gift makes a difference. No gift is too small. This Christmas, help give the gift of good news.
Jesus, we believe that you are present when we gather at the table to celebrate the Lord's Supper. Your good news brings healing to our bodies, minds, and spirits. Help us to live as the members of your body, sustained by your presence, even when we are not always able to gather sacramentally at your table. We give thanks for the richness of your love and mercy always. Amen. Our Father, who was in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Give us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And, and the, the word became, became flesh and, and lived among us. And, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's, father's only son, full of, of grace, grace and, and truth. truth.
May the word that Mary brought to birth carry you into new and abundant life. Amen. May the word that Joseph cradled in his arms enfold you with love and strength. Amen. May the word that angels proclaimed in song bring harmony to our world. Amen. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Jesus Christ is born.